Greetings everyone, this is Garbage Mule, and I'm here with a short video for Mob Arena on how to set up leaderboards for the latest dev build of Mob Arena. That is the latest development build being, uh, at the time of recording this, it's 0 0.94.3.8. So if you're on a version lower than that, don't try any of this because it's not going to work. Okay, so what is leaderboards? Well, it's basically a means of displaying statistics in game. So if you want to know who's who's killed the most monsters, who's uh, dealt the most damage, or uh, what classes people have been playing, uh, you can now with this system. So I'm going to teach you how to set it up and uh, hopefully you guys can give me some feedback on how it works and if there are any bugs or um, well, uh, just any suggestions to improvements or additions to it. Uh, right now it only updates on Arena End, um, meaning you won't actually see real-time live feedback for on the signs. But I plan on adding this soon. I just wanted to get this out there so you guys could try it out. Okay, so we basically define this matrix or like a uh, frame matrix, I don't know, panel maybe, of signs where you want this to be displayed. So the top row of signs is going to be the, the very, the leftmost one, so the top left corner is going to be the root node or the root uh, sign, which basically denotes, you know, here the leaderboards start. So I'll just place it and you can see how it works. So basically, you, you type this little tag. It's a, an open square bracket, MA, and then a closed square bracket. Then you type the arena name. We're going to use test2. It's a simple test server arena I've set up. And then you click done. So you'll see the sign change, and you'll see the message down here saying that leaderboard has been made. Now set up all the stat signs. So the stat signs are the ones that are going to be at the very top row of your leaderboards. So the stat signs will have the stats themselves will be in this this aqua color. Uh, so this particular sign, this column is going to show player names. So you just place a sign for however many players you want to display. Uh, each sign displays for up to four players because uh, that's the amount of lines on a sign. Uh, so right now this is kind of a boring system. It only shows the player names of the people in the arena. So let's try to introduce another another stat such as uh, class so we can see which classes people play. So what you want to do is go just to the right of the sign, the root sign, and place another sign there. You type the square brackets and MA inside of it and then you type the name of the stat that you want to display, in this case class. So you type class. Uh, notice that this is all lowercase. It's not very flexible right now, but I'm going to make it more flexible later. This is just, just follow this video and you should be fine. So we click done and you'll see that the sign changes. So now this is going to display the class stat, uh, which is basically just the, the name of the class that you're playing. Uh, remember that you have to place a sign underneath this as well. So right now what this leaderboard system is going to do is going to display all the names over here, well up to four names, and then it's going to display the classes that each of these players are playing. So it's still kind of boring, so let's add another one, say last wave. And all these codes I'm going to leave in the forum threads and in the post with this video, so it should be shouldn't be difficult to find and you should be able to add the steps that you want. We click done and you'll see the sign change again. Place one underneath it for the actual contents. And now this will display the last wave that the person was playing, meaning when you die, the wave you died on is going to be displayed here. And just to put another one down, let's say MA kills so we can display how many monsters we kill. Know that if you if you type something that isn't a valid stat like this, for instance, it's not going to change the sign, so you can easily see if you did it right or not. Let's just remove this for now. 
and now we're pretty much ready to go so let's try this out we'll join the test 2 arena and uh, I'm just gonna pick uh, a tank and I'm just gonna try to kill a few mobs uh, you'll notice I'm not very good at this myself I'm, I'm, I'm horrible at my own plugin but well I'm having fun so oh. alright so uh, I'm, I'm on wave 2 now and I don't know how many I've killed. I've, I've swung quite a lot, so my accuracy is probably not very good. Anyway, I'm gonna kill this wolf and this skeleton, and I'm gonna leave the arena as if, you know, as if I died. So this is what happens. You see my name here. You see that I played a tank. That my last wave was wave three, which we can verify down here. Um, and that I I had eight kills. So that's how the leaderboards work, pretty much. You know, it's it's going to keep updating here. And if you need more than four player names, you can just add more signs down here. And remember to do it for all the all the, of the columns, because otherwise it's not going to work. Uh, it has to be a, a complete rectangle of of signs or. Uh, it's just not going to update or work at all. So that's all for the simple one and let's go over to the the slightly bigger one that I made over here for the lol arena creeper blew up stuff here. Uh, so this one is obviously a much larger um, leaderboard so you can see here players class last wave kills like we had before this one also tracks damage done, damage taken, swings, and hits. And as you can see, it, it holds up to eight players because we have two rows, and each row holds four players. So let's try this arena. Um, I'll play the archer this time, which is probably not a good idea. There's a monster in fighting on this arena, so they sometimes sometimes the creepers kill everyone. Oh, oh, Enderman. Okay, I'm gonna die here. So uh, let's see. <sighs> well, that was nice. Okay, so as you can see, it updated just fine. We have Archer as the class. Last wave was three, which we can see here. <laughs> I only killed one monster. The rest probably. Br blew up or my wolf killed them. Uh, I'm gonna update that later by the way so the wolves the, the wolf owners actually get the kills. Uh, damage done, damage taken, swings and hits so you can actually calculate your accuracy from this. As you can see I'm actually over... nope I'm not. <laughs> I'm not even at... yeah I am, I am. I'm over 50 percent which is amazing. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's um, pretty much the basics of leaderboards. It's um, I'm gonna leave all these little tags in the in the post, and I'd really love to get some some feedback on this so I can improve it and everything. Note that I I do plan on making these update real time while you're playing in the arena, and I also plan on making it so you can track both. Uh, last session and totals. So in this case, if I play again and I um, kill like nine mobs, then it'll say ten instead of nine. Um, but yeah, so uh, leave some comments in the thread and uh, just remember to have fun with it.